Welcome, you guys. Thank y'all for joining me. This is a story of our ancestors and slaves. When they wanted to run the underground railroad, they would go to the border and they would hear a woman voice. Welcome, you guys. Welcome, you guys. I hope y'all was listening to that song. When I hear that, I think about my ancestors and my descendants before we were even ever here, where they had to run to get to the water, to go to the Underground Railroad so people wouldn't smell they scent. I think that song's deep to me in a lot of ways. I just put a little rap with it and put that course with it. So it kind of gave both a little flavor. And when it says stepped in the water and the water was cold, you know, it chilled my body, but not my soul. My soul is everlasting. So when something is cold, but you know, your soul is still warm. That says a lot. Um, I want to welcome everybody before I get started talking too much. Welcome, Mr. David. You've been sitting up there for a long time. Miss Jones, Miss Carol, Miss Carol, I got real busy today. Sorry, I didn't get to call you back. Love you. Miss Valerie, how you doing, Queen? Miss Linda, Queen. Um, Miss Lori, Miss Key. I know Mama Nancy in there too somewhere. Um, Miss Shy, BB Brown, Miss Patricia. 
Um, and anybody else who's getting ready to join us, Mama Denson, I know you'll be here soon. If not, hello to you and Fred. First of all, before I get started talking about um, Jay Z, if you guys want to read in the comment box, there she is, Mama, um, Mr. Trey, or is that Troy? green welcome you guys anybody else new i still welcome you but i like to call the first people who are in the box just to say hello to them first of all i want to say i don't know if people really know what a civil rights activist is i don't know if people feel like that civil rights activists are supposed to be a certain type of way i'm really not sure i just know how i do things how i fight I um, mean, a lot of times I may not say the right thing or do the right thing when I'm approaching a person because I'm already in beast mode. So if I'm taking a case that I'm already in beast mode, there, it's hard for me to turn on and off. I have a lot of people contacting me about cases and I'm only one person. So if I help you in any kind of way on your case and trying to go back and forth with you, I would say you should be grateful. But some people may not say that. Um like I'm working with this guy right now. He ain't dropped the ball of nothing that I've told him to do. I like those kind of clients. Not saying that you're not normal. Not saying that certain things won't happen. But just like you see me going to talk about Jay-Z. I fight for regular damn people every day just like me and you. I want people to get that in their mind. I am not a blogger. I am a civil rights activist and I stay busy. Um, if you come to me about a case and you're ready, and I can help you, I'm going to help you in any way that I can. I stay ready, so I don't have to get ready. But if I'm on a case with you, and we going back and forth, and I got to call you more than you call me, that's saying that I'm going to work harder on your case than you are. And sometimes it may not be that. But so so happens, show if that's the case. I'll do anything for anybody um, if it's some of my sisters, and I can walk you through it without me having to do anything. If I have to do something for you, I don't mind doing it. It's just depending on what it is and how much um, how much strength of, I mean, of the case that I would have to do to help you with it. Because sometimes when you're an activist, I've had people try to get me locked up for practicing law. I don't practice law, but I know it like the back of my hand. So don't get mad at me because you ain't me. You know what I'm saying? Because I know what I'm doing and I'm not going to let some of my people get violated if I can possibly help that. But when you come to a case with me and I'm on that case and it's like the first two days and we go into two or three weeks, I'm embedded in that case. I really hate to take another case in between any cases if I am embedded in a case. Why? Because some type of way while I'm embedded in this case for three weeks, four weeks, five weeks, and then I take another case. Hopefully your case will be pretty much almost through and I'm explaining it to you. I'm saying that because everybody works differently. For some reason, people think when they talk to me, they're not going to get me on the phone, and you will. But I don't have time to play games or a lot of gag with you. You got a case, I'll tell you, you got a case. You're supposed to do stuff. You got to keep on doing what you're going to do. That's going to teach you to how to fight your case like I would because I'm not going to step into a case if I can't win or I'm not going to step into a case if it's not right. Point blank, period, simple. But because I'm I'm on this mic and there's so many beautiful queens that are reaching out to me, I want to say that, you know, I'll try to help you. But certain people or certain times, because people can't catch your vibe, they either think you're crappy, you're shitty or whatever. The same way I'm on this mic, I'm off the mic the same way. I don't have time to be like creating this persona that you guys want me to be or you think I may be. I'm just the same on and off. I talk shit on camera. I talk shit off camera. Probably more off camera than on. But if something was to come up and you see me on something, you just know Essie Berry's not going to change. That is an illusion that a lot of celebrities allow for you to want to think that they're a certain way and they're not that way. I myself don't have time for that. You know what I'm saying? Because there's too many people in the world right now that's needing help all over the world. A part of living is a part of dying. And we're all going to do that, whether we want to or not. So I want to make the best of the time that I have here to do anything that I can to assess someone, to help someone, to try to make something better. But there's a part of me as a woman Um. I didn't grow up with my mother. I was took away from her at nine years old. I think it says, if you want to know who Essie is, so you can go back and look at that video and it'll tell you who Essie Berry is. 
But because my mom did me like she did me, I don't really care for women. Now, if I like you, I like you. I'm not saying all women. I'm saying women who come on a level and I, don't, I can't vibe with you. I don't got to like you. Um, somebody came to me and they said that they heard on my video that I said I don't like women. I didn't say I didn't like all women. I just don't like women because they get over tolerated. They get fucking messy. You tell them something. We got to keep going back and forth 20,000 times. You know what I'm saying? If I say something, you're going to break down and start crying because I was too direct. I was too blunt. I don't have time for that. I just really don't. And maybe and, and being real, if I'm upset or I done felt like you done triggered me or you done made me feel some kind of way straight up, I'm going to check your ass from the gate. If you don't like that, you better step now because I hope that people are listening every time I do a video. That means that you're going to learn more about me, but I'm not nothing fake to be playing with. I don't know what y'all saw online with these bloggers. I ain't it and nor will I ever be that. So I want to put that out there because I don't want to say things to offend people, but then you want me to be a liar like all these other celebrities that you've seen on TV. And I'm not a celebrity. I was married to one. And that wasn't that oppressive to me if you really want to know the truth. I am who I am because God made me to be that. That's why I played that song, God's Gonna Trouble the Water. Because back in the day, all we had was each other. All we had was black families together fight for what we believe in. It wasn't all this backstabbing, crying, whining. Everybody was cheering together could continue to do what they keep doing. I don't know. And I'm just trying to be honest, you guys. It's a lot of fake shit going on. If you want me to be fake and you don't like the way I talk or you don't like my grammar, then take your ass to another page. Please do that. So I won't offend you because y'all done dealt with this fake shit for so long. Y'all saying all the real descendants gone. Well, I'm one of the real descendants of everybody else pretty much who probably done left this world. I still fight for what I believe in. I still stand for a cause. All the little shit they be putting on blogs and stuff like that about me. I could give a rat's ass about that because you know what? You're not going to walk up to me. You're not going to do something to me. You can't kick my butt. So we just going to be what it's going to be. But because we have got this illusion, the way you prospectively think something's supposed to be, somebody said, oh, because you're an activist, look how you're talking to me. Well, you triggered me, I got pissed, and I checked you. If I offended you, then I'm sorry, but I'm not going to play those games with a person. And I felt like when I was coming up, if your mother would violate you as a woman, anybody will do that. So my tolerance is real low for like women to a degree. I'm just, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I'm just keeping shit 100. But I love my women and older women. I'll rock with any older women because if they 65 and older, I ain't went through nothing. And these are some queens talking to me, not saying young women can't vibe with me too. But if you're going to vibe with me and you're going to understand me, don't get all bent out of damn shape because I came to you because you done got on my nerve and I done checked your ass because you knew what you was getting before you called me. But I think people think because I'm on this mic that I won't be the same off the mic. And if you tell me something and I don't like it, I'm subject to go all the way left on you. If I hurt your feelings, I'm not trying to hurt your feelings, but I'd be damned if you're going to call me and check me about anything. And I'm just trying to help you because in the average world, a lawyer going to charge you $2,500 just to even look over your case and retain you. And that's being nice and low. If you take a phone call from a lawyer, they're going to charge you $150, if not more. I sit on the phone and talk to people all day long, listen to what they have to say. Not celebrities, not celebrities, regular ass people like me and you. That's what we don't get and we don't understand. My love grows deeper than what you can give me because can't nobody on this earth gives me more than what God has given me. That's my life. That's my health. That's my strength. That's my mentality. That's who I am as an individual. But people like to you say to me, if you say a little slick shit out your mouth, then I'm going to say some slick stuff back out my mouth. For every action, there will always be a reaction. I ain't seen too many female activists like me. Well, hell, I see people talking, but I still ain't seen too many activists like me. I don't know what it was back in the day, but I know if I was back in the day, I would be kicking ass and I would be taking names and I would be standing for my people for what I believe in and not sitting up here worried about who going to sue me, who going to come get me. Am I worried? 
and these Christians. You're such a Christian person, but you're worrying every day. You say you love God, but you're worrying every day. You say you go on your knees and you pray to God, but then you sit up and you worry every day. I don't have time to worry. 54 years old. Do I look like I'm worried? I look like this because I carry God within me. I carry God within myself. But some people walk that and say that, but you walk in some shit, but you ain't really doing what you say you're going to do. If you really believe in God, how are you sitting up here worrying? Because God said he will fulfill all your needs and what do you have to do? Sometimes it appears to me that we have got so estranged from our life that we don't know what's real and what's not. And then when a person of my caliber, and I ain't saying I'm all that, because I'm country as hell, I'm ghetto, I'm what it is, but I'm going to own what I am. Am I country? Hell yeah. Am I ghetto? Hell yeah. And will I tell you real quick what to do and check you from the door? Hell yeah. If I don't care if you like it, then you go about your business because I ain't got to like you. And you know, where one or two are gathered, that's what God is in the mix of. So I don't have time to be sitting up here worried about what you think, feel, or say. Like when celebrities come to me, like this case right here with Ramir, I didn't call Ramir. I didn't call Miss uh, Lily, Dr. Lily. They called me because you know why? It's millions of bloggers on here, but who's really going to fight like I fight or do what I do? And if I make one phone call for you, that was one damn phone call that you didn't make for yourself. If I choose to stand and do anything for you, that was something that I chose to do for myself. Now, I'm not finna even dog Jay-Z because I don't know Jay-Z, but let me just keep shit 100. I am sick of men sitting up here Turn around saying you're a grown ass man. I'm a real man. I'm about that. And you only take care of your kid, nor will you acknowledge it. Because if you thought you had a kid somewhere in the world, you would acknowledge that. I didn't go in on Miss Lily like that because she's very proper, very spiritual. And I know I would have had to watch my mouth, but I just wanted to drag all this shit the first two sessions that me and Miss Lily did. Up under this video, you will see where an article dropped yesterday about this whole Jay-Z thing. So now my thing is, what part is Jay-Z upset about? Are you upset that we know that you were 23 and you slept with a 16-year-old girl? Or is it that you don't want to own your son, but you all on the internet and wherever doing whoever interviews saying that your daddy wasn't in your life? So, Jay-Z, if your damn daddy wasn't in your life and there's a possibility that you could have some type of damn bloodline that looks like you, act like you, bleed the same blood that you bleed, you don't even want to know. Because right as far as now, 100% beyond a shadow of a doubt, unless Jay-Z takes that test with Ramir, the state of New Jersey is saying he's the pappy of that damn baby. And he made that choice because all he had to do is get a blood test. You sitting up here for 10 years, walking your ass around. You got Beyonce. That's good, but whatever. Put a ring on that shit. I'm glad that you did. But that did not stop the fact that you affected people back in the day. And you got this little girl pregnant. And she did all these years without you and raised your son as the best of her ability or what she could do. And she did that because Ramir is a respectable young man. But what I don't like is that somebody hit me up. I guess they saw the article. They want to say he a grown man because he a grown man don't mean that he don't want to know who his father is. Don't nobody want your money. People really don't know. A lot of shit ain't about money. It's about the principle. It's about the situation. And it's about what God has put in front of us. That's why I played that song. Back in the day, we didn't have nothing but each other. We wanted to know our bloodline. Men would fight to make sure that their bloodline was separated. Stand with the master. Stand trying to be cool so I won't get separated from my children. And now you sit up here, walk around. You got two daughters. Got a boy that look pretty much like you and jay-z this my thing if it wasn't a problem why didn't you just take the dna test my ass wouldn't even be on the line right now and then we wouldn't be talking about this because there's a lot of people that have talked about it but you still ain't kept riding that coattail to so why so how y'all looking at him as a moral upstanding person and he won't even take a test for his kid 
I'm not taking calls after we're done. Because if somebody call me stupid, that's going to be a problem on this mic. So if you're having your people calling me now, I'll check your ass on the mic because I'm telling you, I'm going to have you on speakerphone. So you can call back in a few minutes who's calling me, and then we go from there. So I'm just asking, how does that play a part? And I just seen somebody where they say he worried about being our Kelly. Well, he can't be our Kelly, but he could do the same faith as our Kelly for sure. One, because like say, for instance, you go to a party. And a girl allude to the fact that she's another age and she's underage. Well, you better start asking for ID because if you're a 20 some year old man and she's underage and she's a teenager, it's clearly called statutory rape. There's no other way around that. And I don't know about Foxy Brown because I ain't saw her case, but I saw she had some dealings with Jay-Z and she was a minor too. Well, how y'all going around sleep with these little girls and they minors and shit and you don't want to think you have to take accountability for it. And then all these bloggers talking about tread lightly. Tread lightly on what? Tread lightly on the truth. Tread lightly on your lie. What do you want me to tread lightly on? And then nobody asked Jay-Z for nothing. They asked for a damn DNA test 10 years ago. And what happened? Instead of getting the DNA test, he done sat up here and got judges sitting up here blocking Dr. Lilly. You done got the Civil Rights Board in New Jersey blocking Miss Lilly. Y'all asses should be ashamed of yourself even doing anything like that. That's how you know you guilty. That's how you know you the pappy of that there baby. Because you sitting up here blocking people, telling judges, and these judges are sitting their ass in the courtroom lying. That's why I fight. That's what this is about. I seen somebody said something on the video, and I pretty much know what it was. They mad that I said their eyebrows are crooked, so I checked their ass, and we'll check you again. Because if your eyebrows crooked, every other thing about you crooked, too. How the hell are you in front of a mirror, and you can't put your eyebrows on crooked? I mean, straight. And they crooked. You're crooked. That's why. So they want to make videos about me using Ramir. Make that shit make sense. How can I do Ramir or deal with Ramir any kind of way? So you still want to make a video because you mad that I said something about you 20 years ago. Your shit still hurt. Your feelings still hurt because I told the truth. So that ain't me that you can get in a mirror and you still draw your eyebrows on crooked. That's not have nothing to do with me. But you can make all the videos you want because I'll never call your name. But I will always remember your crooked ass eyebrows for sure. Um, if I'm talking too fast, please let me know because I'm going to get ready to go on some things. So another young lady wrote me and she said, what do we want Jay-Z to do? There's nothing to do now. Jay-Z picked his battle and he chose whatever battle he's going to pick. Now it's going to be that we're going to put all the judges in the hot seats. So hypothetically saying, you guys, if... If we don't make these judges be accountable and say Jay-Z didn't know, but he'll be lying to say he didn't know because they came to you 10 years ago and you was finna take the DNA test. But why you didn't take the DNA test is because they clearly told you you can make come up on statutory rape charges because at the time when you slept with the girl and she had the baby, if she was underage. That's why you didn't do it. That's why you felt like you didn't have to address it. But now you're legally sitting up here talking about you didn't grow up without a daddy. And you got a son that could carry your DNA and your bloodline. And you ain't going to do shit. For what reason? You Or you ain't going to do it because you're rich. Or you ain't going to do it because your name Jay-Z. Or you ain't going to do it because of what reason that it should be. I'm just asking. What what we doing here? But everybody want to tiptoe. I don't tiptoe. I'm too short to damn tiptoe. I don't even like heels. So I'm not going to tiptoe around the situation. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. So what you going to do? You going to send somebody to me? Y'all going to get somebody to call and threaten me? That shit's over a long time ago. After Steve Harvey, I don't think nobody can motherfucking bully me. Straight up. So do your best when you come in. Send all your little private people or whatever. But it's still not going to change the fact now that he's accused of being the father of Ramir because he was not man enough to take a DNA test because he wanted to sit up there and hide it. You slept with the girl. Ain't nobody saying charges going to be brought against you. Hell, you a billionaire. You Jay-Z. You can buy your way out of that. But everybody going to be looking at you crooked because you didn't sit up here and do what you were supposed to do as a man. And I ain't just saying Jay-Z didn't do it. Yeah, listen, a lot of people didn't do it. But do you think at least five judges would incriminate itself if it had been a regular black man? I'll wait. I'll answer for you. No. 
So you got judges in the state of New Jersey. You got the Civil Rights Commission board in the state of New Jersey. And y'all sitting up here violating Dr. Lilly, taking her money, her hard-earned ass money, while you taking Jay-Z's in the background. Because that's the only thing in my mind that I think that you guys could have done. You sitting up here paying off judges so they won't tell. But the bloggers going to tell if they got guts. And if they ain't got guts, I got it for them. So I'm telling you what I feel. Um, and I think it's really disgusting. And later on, I'm going to come back to Willie Norwood, too, because I ain't really through his ass either. Y'all sit up here and y'all play like y'all all in the limelight. You love Jesus one day. The next day, you don't what you're supposed to do. But then you want to sit up and try to tell another brother what to do, how to do it, which way to do it. And then you can't even tell your own kid. You can't take a consideration of your own child. And I'm not trying to throw nobody daddy up under the bus. I'm just sick of raggedy ass men sitting up here getting the ladies pregnant. Then you don't want to sit up here and own your responsibility. All you got to do is get your hands stuck, Jay-Z, and then you'll be done. If you're the pappy, then own that shit. If you ain't just going about your business, will nobody will say nothing about you. And I guess we will all have to recant our story. But because you did it, then you didn't want to take the test, then it is what it is. The only difference with a woman, when you come to us and we done got pregnant, we got the baby for nine months, and then we're stuck with the baby for the rest of our life, which ain't no bad thing, because a mother going to be there when the daddy ain't going to be there. But why do y'all ask it so much when I holler about you a real man, but you don't even take care of your responsibility? Because you ain't no damn real man, straight up. And any man, and I hope you take this to heart, I hope you feel some kind of way. I hope you disconnect yourself from me. But let me keep this real with you. Any raggedy ass man who done walked this earth and then got a woman pregnant and you didn't handle your responsibility as a man, you a sorry ass individual. That's what I said. What I said, the way I said it. And if you don't like it, so be it. But it's the truth. Like when you write me smart comments and I'm reading video messages, I can re-regulate them in my mind. But then I'm going to come back and annihilate everything you say. Because the sister didn't have no baby by herself when you want to get all up in there and get the groove on. But then as soon as she become nine months pregnant, we stuck with that package for the rest of our life like it's luggage. We got the kid on the side of like it's a damn purse while you sitting up there watching for your next victim so you can go and get her pregnant too and just continue to roam the earth. And then when and that's what we're wrong too. And that's what we're bad at. We're bad at that reason because of the simple fact I'm not answering any calls until I'm totally done. Because if someone calls me, I want to make sure I give them that courtesy, but I want to finish saying what I have to say. Because I already know I done got a few slick emails from these people and saying what I should and shouldn't do or why I stuck my neck in something. Why did he stick his his thing in a 16-year-old girl and now his ass don't want to see why he want to take responsibility for that? I would like to ask him that while you were about me sticking my nose or whatsoever. You got pale, pale people on this internet with millions of hit talking about Jay-Z and Ramir. But for some reason, my voice makes a difference. It makes a fucking difference because people know that I'm real for what I say and I ain't got to say it. If you don't like it then sue me and there's nothing that you can sue because then you're gonna make yourself look stupider too so how are you gonna do that to me because you can't this is not about dragging jay-z this is about jay-z hannah's responsibility because right now it's almost five to and about what eight lawyers that are involved that sat here and violated dr lily did you violate it because of jay-z did you violate her because you didn't like, like her? Did you violate, violate her because she was a black woman? Did you violate her because you didn't think that nobody would find out about this? And y'all white asses. And if you black and you in some mixed up shit like this, then you just as white as the white people put them behind it. You just got black sin and on the inside, you still white as cream just like them. And it's not about disrespect. It's about you got white people that sit up here trying to violate black people. And then you got some black people sitting up here acting like they about our life. They power to the people. And they ask just as white as the one who's trying to put us in prison or put us in jail or sit up there trying to violate us. I'm sick of that, ladies. We can take this kingdom back and we can be who we're supposed to be. We can have our voices come back. But that's all totally up to you right about now. I'm asking for soldiers. I'm not asking for no wimps, no cowards. 
cowards. If I say something, you're going to start crying. And now you got your ass on your shoulder. I don't want to deal with that either. Hell, I don't get a period no more, but I can have mood swings too. Every day is not a good day, but if we learn to work together, maybe we can make some things change. And don't get it twisted, women. A lot of this shit is because of us. A lot of this is because of you. Because you know why? Y'all, you knew who you was laying up with. You heard that nigga had 20 kids around the corner and you still lay with him anyway. So if he got 20 kids around the corner, what you gonna do? Lay with him too and make it 21? I hold us accountable too. But our, our bodies is the most prized possession that we can ever carry. That's our temple. That's why we can do what we need to do. And we can change this. And if we can't change it right now, we need to change it for our younger generation. We need to change it for our grandchildren children. We need to change it for our children. We need to change for our great, great, great grandchildren, no matter what it is, especially females. Because I'm tired of seeing black men sit up here and dog black women. And y'all asses came for black women. How the hell all y'all black men are coming from black women and y'all sitting up here trying to dog queens because the queens will let you dog them out. New day, new time, new flash, that's a wrap. We ain't doing that no more. So if you on my team, I need to know I got queens. If you on my team, I need to let you know that we're going to grow together and not sit up here allowing our voices not to be heard. I admire Dr. Lily to the fullest because she didn't stop. She continued to go. She continued to fight for her goddaughter that died and got her child. That woman didn't have to be loyal enough to do that. Some people don't even keep their word, let alone do what Miss Lily just did. And you sit up here trying to point fingers or worry about what Ramirez supposed to get. Don't nobody give a rat's ass about what Jay-Z got. But Jay-Z done sat up here and created a whole um criminal intent of his own and it's based around ramir and him not want to take a sloppy dna test to show that he was the baby daddy of ramir <coughs> so since you didn't want to take a test now everybody's a criminal now same with steve harvey do you actually think that i'm gonna keep messing with this black man and you send up here got white judges that to sign the paper nine um judges um, nine are white, one's Hispanic, and you got the black token in the middle. You think I'm going to keep playing with them? I'm going to put all them judges up on blast. If you can't get a player one way, then you get them another. Then you're going to make me like a criminal. I can make everybody else look like a criminal, too. Because at the end of the day, you're not going to keep sitting up here incriminating black women and then think a black woman ain't got no voice or no choice to say what she needs to do. So then when we go up in the courtroom because the pappy got more money than the mammy, you want to sit up here and violate the women. Where they do that at? Where do they do that at? And how raw I am? I don't know how y'all think an activist is supposed to talk. I don't know how you think an activist is supposed to do. I just know what I do because all I know is myself. And because all I know is myself, me, myself, and I, that's all I knew. So I had to grow up on my own fight for what I believe in. I was raised by OGs because my own family didn't want to raise me. And that's fine, too, because the character and the woman that I possess right now, I have to truly say it came from God because God allowed people to come in my circle who love me, who understand me, who had knowledge, who had strength, who was able to change who I was as a woman so I would get greater. I was raised by damn thugs and OGs and, and gang members, right? And I had older women coming to my life. I'm not ashamed of that because now I'm one of the top female activists that it is. So if you do something with me and it don't fall right, then no, you better look at your ass first because when I come, I come with everything that I need to come with, no matter what it is. I want to tell people too, you can say one thing, but you can live another. I notice, like, I don't even really care to be in the celebrity world because everybody's a damn liar. Nobody want to tell the truth. Everybody want to say they're a real man or a real woman, but you ain't living your truth. You cuss behind cold doors. You drink like a saint. You sleeping with everything ain't nailed down. But then you want to say that you a true person of God because you said it or because it happened. Which one should it be? 
I'm just asking you guys, which one should it be? So when I'm doing Ramirez case or I'm doing uh, Cedar with Willie Norwood or I'm talking about Mary Harvey then I didn't pick none of these people. I didn't ask to be in a damn circle. I did go find Mary, but all this other stuff that went with it, I didn't ask for that. There was a reason why I'm in this circle. And if it's nothing to do but expose and to change people, then I'll do that too, no matter what someone chooses to do. Do I think Jay-Z is a bad person? No. Because I got to realize, you guys, Jay-Z said he grew up without his father. Okay. So if Jay-Z grew up without his father, he should know what it feels like to be without a father. So he should want to reach out to a son if that should be a son. That's all I'm saying. I can't make the world go round, but I love my family. I love people that I embrace. You don't have to be my love bloodline to be my family. I got sisters that call me every single day that I feel like is my bloodline sister. Mama Denson don't miss a beat calling me every single day. If I don't call Mama Denson, Mama Denson called me. That's real love. She didn't have to give birth to me, but I am her daughter fully, no matter what you say or do. And I feel that when I'm talking to her, that she's not going to let me down. It's a real bad feeling to grow up in a world with no one to really know who you are. They say that I birth you, or they say that you're my daughter, but because I'm your daughter don't mean that you know me. I have family members that feel like they know me. You don't know me. You know of me. And because you know of me, the thing of that is, then you got to get to know me because I'm just not going to let you in my circle. I'm not going to just let you be a part of my world. And then you come in there and you change because we as people, we have the illusion that people are supposed to be a certain type of way. If Jay-Z never had his father in his life, how can he truly be a father? He's just growing with his little girls right now or his children with Beyonce right now. He's learning to be a father like me. I stopped seeing my mom at nine years old. I got pregnant at 15. I was married at 15. I didn't know shit about being a mother. I didn't know nothing about being a wife. I didn't know anything. I had to grow into the person that I was. And that was because that's what God carried me to be. I don't want people to sit up here and think that you have to be a certain type of way or you're the prodigy of someone. You can change who you are if you choose to do that. Okay, Jay-Z, you didn't grow up without your daddy. I get that. So even though you didn't grow up with your daddy, you can't just go take the damn test so people won't be looking at you crooked. You can't go just take the test because that, that will shut all this down. But we're still going to tell each judge each lawyer, each person that was on Ramirez case, it's out of Jay-Z hand because they still had the chance to do the right thing. All these people up in court and they've been up in court for years. It's time to take some of them damn judges out the courthouse if they're violating you. And every judge that you see on that press release at the bottom of this video, those judges could have violated someone else in new jersey did they violate you are you are you strong enough to say yeah they violated me i'm sure dr lily was not the first person that they did that to and it probably won't be the last and she was black how many more black people that got violated by the civil rights board in new jersey how many other people that got violated through all those judges sitting up here doing backdoor damn deals on people and you trying to put them away? Same thing in Collins County. All these judges, I'm sure they may or may not. I don't give a damn either way. If I got a document with Latin Latin judges and they trying to put me in jail, then guess what? Then I'm going to make sure that everybody know that them white nine judges, the one black judge that I said look like a fucking crackhead and a Mexican cat, I'm going to put all their names out there. I want an investigation on everybody. They tried to make me look like a criminal and you got criminals working and running the court system. Where they do that at? And you got police officers criminalizing doing the same thing. I'm tired of all the bullshit. I need people to understand what it is to be who you want to be and do not let a person change you. If Jay-Z chooses to do what he want to do with Ramirez, that's fine. But it ain't going to stop us from going after the damn judges. It ain't going to stop us from going after the lawyers no more. It's not going to stop me from going after anybody legal in Collins County. That means if I call every precinct and I call every judge and ask them if they know their name on it, because what you do when you can't get the middle man and they want to keep trying to make you look some kind of way, then you get all the big players in the game. That's my fault.
wrong because I stayed in something for 10 years playing with these people and I was not a criminal. But since you asked want to make me look like a criminal, I can make the whole courthouse look like a criminal. The Civil Rights Division Board, did nobody ask y'all to cover up Miss Lily's paperwork. Did nobody tell you not to send that paperwork through. That was a choice that you made. So now you got to be held accountable for that. I'm telling people now, we are going to be holding people that let these people do this to us. We're going to hold the system accountable. Either get your ass in there and do your job and stop playing with people's lives, black women's lives for sure, or we're going to sit up here and move you up out of there. Because they do, you can't do whistleblowers if you don't know. You can't do whistleblowers on judges, lawyers, and a whole scam with somebody doing something. So it ain't going to just stay right here and stop. It's going to go further if I can. And if we can make it happen, one voice can make a difference. One voice can make a change. And at this point, I don't think it's nothing that Jay-Z could even give him. But wouldn't it be ironic if something happened to Jay-Z and the last person that he had to call or come to would be his son and his son had to give him blood or his son had to give him kidney or his son had to give him life. You be careful when you piss on people because you don't never know when that person is going to come back in your life. And that's for sure. I'm going to sit up here. Oh, we got somebody down here. I saw two people come up. I want to make sure I said everything I had to say. I know people want to call in too. I know people wrote me, but I just want to tell people, I'm not going to go back and forth with you on the internet. I know what it is to be real about something. And I know what it is when I see fake people and I ain't got time for fake shit no more. You got to do what you're supposed to do because we are not here for a lifetime. We've only here for a reason and a season. No more, no less. So you guys, I don't know if y'all like my preaching or not. And again, if Jay-Z didn't have his daddy in his life, how do he really know how to be a daddy? He's learning as he go. He probably didn't even know he's going to have a son that's grown and this old. And that's fine too. But right now, it's time for everybody to wake up because this is a season and it seems like everybody getting exposed. And everybody, if you're trying to change, then this is the time to change because if you ain't going to keep trying to change and do the same thing. It's going to be the same course. You're going to get the same response. So you're going to get the same action for sure. Um, You know, I'll be preaching y'all too. Hold on a minute, you guys. What is it? What is it? Okay, I'm going to take him back down. He ain't got nothing to say. And I'm going to go back up. <sighs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's going on, Ashley? How's everybody doing? Fine. How are you? I'm blessed. Highly favored. I just see Spook Media pop up. Y'all know what he might be doing, right? Allegedly. But I was listening to you, Essie, um, talking about the Ramir case. It's a very interesting case. Um, I admire your fight. Um, we also had shared that a couple of months ago. Um, it's a strong fight. Um, it's going to be a, it, it, and I'm glad they gave the case to the right person. Um, if anybody didn't know, uh, Essie Berry just hit the press with that. So um, God is working. Um, things ain't going to be allowed on the channel unless it's, you know, anointed. So um, it's a reason, like you said, Essie, why this um, occurred. Um, and I just like, again, I admire your hustle. I admire your drive um, for taking in the hands. And one thing um, I heard you speak about, um, you wonder, um, you do you think, do you think Jay-Z is a bad person? Um, no, I do not. I beg to differ. You, you can't judge a person because they made a choice. He made a choice. If he didn't have a father, you know, he made a choice whichever way he's going to be because he didn't admit that Mir was his son at the time. That don't make him right. a bad person. That makes him scared of the decision that he got caught up in right. now. I'm sure if he got, I mean, I think as a person, he probably be a cool ass person to be around. 
But at the end of the day, all this ruckus in the court got started because of him. So now, since we can't make him do right, the system and the whistleblower, whatever else is going to make him do right. Right. We got to understand because he's probably a good person overall, but he just made bad decisions and bad choices. Listen to other people and like everybody else. Well, I, well, I've just seen articles um, about him uh, where he spoke that he was um, also he wasn't raised by his father. He didn't have a father. So I think that should give him even more power to even want to raise his own child. So and, and I'm not using the choice of words of saying he's a bad person. I'm using the choice of the words that he is acknowledging his child and he know that's his child, but he hasn't taken action. I don't know what you would call that type of person. Um, he does this. If you know what you know, and maybe that's a reason, you guys. That might be a true point. Maybe the reason is because he knows that's his son, and he don't want to disrespect his legacy, or maybe he got something back his heart. Because Miss Miss Lily did say that he did come and was going to take her take his son, but she wanted him to finish school. So Jay Z was going to come and get his son and take his son with him. She said no, and she said maybe you know at that time what well, she see now she wasn't want him in the industry, but he did acknowledge back in the day and was going to take his son with him. So yeah, you got to look at that too. Yeah, I do. I do look at it, but what made him stop now? You know? This nominee called me three times. I mean, my thing is, what make you stop now? What make you stop now? I mean, once I take that role of being a father, as any man take that role of being a father, um, any man that is an honorable man, he's going to be haunted by those type of demons. You know, um, if you're not, you know, you know you got a child out there, um, and every day you're missing something special in this life. Um, people that don't feel those type of things are very numb to me, um, to the fact. And then when, when, when God blesses you with something like that, the talent, and when someone, God blesses you to be able to do something for your family, I mean, you should be held accountable for your actions. And that's just, you know, um, especially, and now you said that in that situation, because I, I never really got in depth with uh, Dr. Lily Coley on that about him coming to um get Ramirez. So as a man and as a father, I'm wondering like why why stop now? If I took the initiative to go pick my son up, what's gonna make me stop? You know, what's gonna what's gonna cause me to stop? You it know changed. that child needs you. You know, it, um it, it changed Dub, you know, you the whole world is looking at him now. The whole whole world wasn't looking at him, you know what I'm saying, like they are now. So it changes a lot because you got to realize what has been said and how it's been said, you know what I'm saying, and how things have been treated. But just like when your dad called you that time, your dad called you, and then you didn't want to speak to him, right? That could have been a changing point of your life when you talked to your dad that one moment. But there were so many things that went through. He called you. So that meant he wanted to reach out to you some kind of way. But at that time, for you, it wasn't the right moment. See, and at that time, for Ramirez, it could have been the right moment, but it wasn't for Lily. But listen, I just got somebody calling. You might know them, c -Dub. They say they used to promote Ramirez. Okay. What's your name, baby? Yeah, my name is Chief from Queens, New York. Talk, talk it up a little bit, baby. You got to talk up a little bit. Speak up. Speak up. Uh, my name is Chief from Queens, New York. What's good? Okay, so how long did you promote Ramirez? I, I promoted Ramia um, since 2012. That was when um, I got in touch. And, and um, so back in 2019, um, I made a range of the um, The manager got the 4040 car because that's the um, club changing he owned. Um, I spoke to one of the managers. I um, called for Ramia to go to the club to um, meet him. Ask my brother, my brother, are you speaking on the loud? Uh, you speaking hey, on he said, are you speaking? speaking? Wait a minute, hold on, baby. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you speaking in your mic or are you on speakerphone? Oh, yeah, I'm speaking in the mic. Okay. But you're on speakerphone? No. Okay, now can you go? Let's see. That, that sounds a little better. All right, now. Um, can y'all hear him? From and the uh, manager from, um, from the 4040 club was like, all right, um, JV's daddy, um, yeah, but you can bring him to the club and um, we'll get um, JV on the phone shortly. Hold on, baby. Listen to this. Listen, listen. Hold on. 
Can you click the link? If I put the link in the box, you go down the box and click the link so we can hear you clearly. All right. Okay, I'm going to put the link down in the box right where you saw the comments at. There's a stream link. Click that, and then I'll bring you in on the conversation, and we can come up on the board so I can hear you clearly. Is that okay? All right. All right see All you in a minute. All right. I think that'll be better. But yeah. he, he said he set up an arrangement for Ramir and his dad. You see what I'm saying? So let's see how that is. Yeah, let's check that out. Everybody hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Welcome, you guys. Thank y'all for joining me. I hope I didn't preach too much, but I had to say what I had to say. And let, again, do you know what I mean? Black men ain't took care of their kids, but they ain't in the public eyesight. They're not letting us, um, what is that, man, SC? I don't worry or stress or you ain't supposed to stress. Um, it's so many, he's in the public eyesight, so it makes it different for him. But what Jay-Z got to realize, ain't nobody trying to put Jay-Z in jail. If the state put him in jail, that ain't got nothing to do with us. Right. But, because he's sitting up here doing it the way he has done it. The link is down in the box. Because he's doing it the way he has done it, then that makes it a little different. Because right. of the simple fact that I know what he think is looking like, but it came, even though we try to say we don't want to deal with it, all this stem and all these judges did all this because this boy wanted a DNA test. That's what I don't get. Well, we know why... Um he didn't want to take the DNA test. Did you discuss that reason? No, why didn't want the DNA test? Oh yeah, because of the statutory rape. Correct. Right. A absolutely. Um, yeah, so that, 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 that will come out. Yeah, but those that don't that's already out anyway. Because I seen somebody send me a link saying he was dealing with Foxy Brown. So you deal with minors. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. My thing is, man, you better start checking the ID because a girl got big titties and big butts. Don't mean she of age. So you better pay attention to that yourself. Yeah, so that's the only issue, um, because it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, a matter that he would have to pay. I don't I don't really think that he would mind taking care of Ramir, but he has that in his closet because we know that um, if anybody that don't know that the video fiesta was on Epstein's island, um, and that video was was filmed there with R. Kelly. So R. Kelly kind of um, you know revealed what was going on with Jay Z too. Um, and so I just feel like he was messing with young, younger women and, and he's scared that's going to be revealed, but it's, you know, times have come to pass, you know, people grow, but and my thing is that people, when, you know, when you know some positions, when you have the, the, the will and the power, I feel like, you know what I mean? That's what God gives it to you for, to change, to like, okay, I, you know, I'm, I'm going I'm to get my people out the hole. I'm going to, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something different that no one else did. Um, that's what's gonna show your true, your true manhood, your true difference as a person, and I think that's why God gives certain people riches, um, and when they don't, when they don't um, follow up to what God gave them, then these type of things start to um, stem, right, um, and start to come out, and then this is what they have to deal with, which also makes them hide more further and you know hide behind the door like spook. So. Um, you know that's what it that that that's what it all amounts down to. So I'm just hoping that this case, you know, um, that it'll be re revealed. Um, it's a, I, I just can't stand to see how how these lawyers and these people in powerful places, places that take an oath. Um, that's why you got to bring them out the closet, right? You know, if this person try to poke your poke your buttons, please don't say nothing because I don't want to pull you down. Okay. Oh, I'm I'm you know I'm suited and booted. I'm 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 calmly mannered. What is it, sir? Hello? He must got a bad connection. It seemed like <laughs> it seems <laughs> as it seemed like every time, you know, even though you on there, but when we when we get together, it it accumulate power and it's to the point where this man feel like he just gotta jump on the platform. He just wanna say Fear. hi. I mean and interrupt yeah, what happened just then what we speak um, i mean i'm a, i'm addictive see though i people get addicted to me quickly i feel the same way i mean i'm putting all <laughs> oh thank you so much grandmama cole i'm trying to read all the comments i don't know what happened to the guy where he was gonna come Keep on it, Ramirez should. okay um what is it right here all folks okay 
Let me know. I'll read them for you if you want me to. He could do the 23 and me, but I don't think I, I would doubt. I don't know. I would doubt if they would take something like that. Some celebrities take that. Some celebrities don't. They think they should do the genealogy test. <laughs> Then and then what? Because you can still see some of your people in the the history of that, like like the Walter family. The Walter family created Walmart. They they want the richest family in the world. My auntie, my young auntie, I just met said that my great great grandmama was a Walter. See what I'm saying? You don't never know who you connected to if you take them tests. But I don't know if I trust. I took twenty three and me. So I don't know what a genealogy test y'all talk about taking. You can put it up there though. When that guy was talking, could y'all hear him clearly? Cause I could call him back. Could y'all hear him when he was talking on the phone? No, I couldn't hear him. Oh, okay. But I also feel like, you know, when you sit and speak to Ramir and I just, you know, always pray for the right thing. It's never too late. But when you speak to Ramir, he's a highly intelligent, intelligent young brother. Um, very well mannered, um, humble about the situation. So that that should make Jay Z even more, you know, um, make sure Jay Z want to be more involved into his life. You know, a lot of things don't have to be. A lot of these celebrities deal with the limelight, everybody, and I feel like they feel like they have to do everything in the limelight, which they don't. You know, they got people that that can get in touch with people, and they can, you know, they can sit down and talk one on one without anybody there. And those are the things that they do, but they 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 end up getting this lifestyle and they feel like everything they do have to be in front of the media. And it doesn't. You know, you just gotta know how to move right. You know what I mean? I mean, how could you have money and not know how to move right, y'all? You know what I'm saying? You, if you got money, you should know how to move right. Um, no, you don't. Look at Steve. Well, Look at Steve M. Yeah, they got money, they were moving dumb as hell. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's some dumb crook shit. You know what I'm saying? Cause you got absolutely make you sloppier and make you stupider because you think you got money to <laughs> move stuff. And then when you get sloppy, and I like a dumb crook because dumb crooks are always going to make mistakes in the choices that are not valid. You get what I'm saying? Or whatever. Right. Right. Yeah. Cause they did say a broke person make the best crook. Right. So they ain't broke. So they're a bad crook. Correct. And I got it. I get it. But, but get one it. of this, don't be no crook at all. Then you ain't got to worry about it. You know what I'm saying? I know that's right. If you're a crook and then you can't even be a good crook, then don't be a crook because you're going to be a crook, be all that you can be. I'm just, <laughs> be all that In the can. army! Yeah. Oh, this him. This the guy. Essie, my name is Keith from Queens, New York. All right, Keith, we wait for you to click the link and so you come up. This the one. He he said he promoted Ramirez because I want to know why he stopped promoting Ramirez. But it sounded like it was on a speakerphone or something. It wasn't quite clear. Again, y'all, that's a demonstration of power because um, this person found us. So, you know, every guy, you know, God is a, it's, we got a good God out there. Now, I'm, I'm just, I'm just thankful. God, God, God works everything out. Um, He's amazing. From Indy, thank y'all for joining us. Appreciate it. Thank y'all. Um, I just want to say, too. When people think that we doing this or I'm doing it, I, I, I ain't doing shit to like make people feel bad. I'm just like going to bring out the facts of what it is. And when you look at the facts of what it is, people are doing illegal stuff to the system to violate black people. And so how do we get around it? And black women and black men get violated a lot. Black women to the point that they have no respect when we come in front of them. And black men, because they feel like they can be so derogatory towards our brothers that you can just violate us. And if we continue to let these judges and all these people have this type of thing about or in us, that's going to be an issue. That's going to be a situation. And if we don't change it now, they're going to continue to do it. Absolutely. And, and if, if if I say something to someone and you take it to offense, then I really apologize. But like, I'm not going to tell you what you want to hear. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you what I feel because you asked me. So there's a difference between keeping shit 100 with yourself and then lying to yourself exclusively for what you wanted to be made as. And then once people make choices, decisions, they say they made a mistake. Again, 
A mistake is when you drop a peanut butter jelly sandwich on the floor. You can wipe out the jelly. You made a choice, a conscious decision, and now all this is going on. What people yeah. fail to realize is if you put somebody in a position, you are flunky to me because you got a boss over you. And if you work with somebody, then that means you got a boss, they got a boss, they got another boss. Sometimes you got to go around the people who have violated you and go to the head people in charge or go at the head people that have done these kind of things to you. So as a person and an individual, when y'all start calling me or y'all asking me about a case or how you can do something, I'm going to clearly tell you, I'm going to help you walk through it. But I won't be writing anything. I can tell you, I'll check it. But this is a way that you can learn from yourself. Because if you don't learn for yourself, then they're going to violate your children. Then they're going to violate your grandchildren. And they're going to violate other people around you. Mm -hmm. Now, yes, well the mere fact of God that dude can log on spook Steve because it wasn't intended for him to log on. Sometimes God will keep people away from your mercy and your grace because they ain't supposed to be in your face in the first place. Exactly. Rhyme. Didn't that rhyme, y'all? Yeah, it rhymed. That's the <laughs> one I'm not hearing from, you see? NCSC in the house. In the yeah, place to be. Something. Um, you're right, you're right, S.C. You know, it, it wasn't meant for him to speak. Um, right. and he probably don't know what to say. You know, he's, he, you know, we know how spooky is, y'all. He gets so nervous. Sometimes he just pop up there because he just, he's trembling. So we know he trembled. So at that moment, when you speak truth, you know, the, the, in, the ev evil spirits, they're not going to, they're not going to win. The ancestors is in here. So, you know, we, we against that. Um, it's power in here. He don't know what to say. He can't just dip himself in on the live like he usually do, you know, um, because this, this case right here, what we're talking about now, it really don't have nothing to do with him. And it is totally a shame. I want to mention, y'all, it is a shame. Um, i seen him post memes, and i seen Truth post a meme, um, a short, excuse me, about Ramir. You guys don't have nothing to do, Ramir. Stay on me. Stay on Essie. But Ramir never said nothing bad to you. Dr. Lily Coley never said nothing bad about you. Why do you do that? These are cold-hearted people, man. Uh, that lets you know these people we're dealing with. But because of the simple fact why they do that is because back in the day, before y'all seen all that was going on, Steve and would go after my family members. So going after my family members, they know that I love my family. I love friends like I love family. So because of that, um, I get They want to destroy you. Right. So you want to go after them because you think I'll be quiet. Okay, see, the, don't, don't. I got you. Yes. <laughs> Why you can't get your mic straight? Do I need to? Alternate. You really need to. How? Oh. I mean, you came on three times. You could say, <laughs> "Baby, you love me, baby." Why you come with that same speech? You ain't got nothing else to say. You love me, baby. You love me. It's very. You love me, baby. You love me. I got to. You got to. Why you got to? You know why? I know. Can I explain? Yes. First of all, before I explain, though, see, though. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. What? Uh-uh. <laughs> uh-uh. Uh -uh. I can't. Uh-uh. I can't say that. Not to see, though, if you can't. Okay. Because this <laughs> No. Come on now. It's your bear. It's your season, ain't it? Uh, Stu? I got you. Go on, C Dog. Go ahead. Woo! No, Big baby. You Ooh. love it, baby. C Dog. Not when you be messing with my family members and stuff. C Dog. I ain't gonna let you talk to C Dog. C Dog, bro. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay, okay. You, you, you. I'm like, trying to figure out what I do, though. What I do, though. Yes. You I'm trying to figure out what I do, though. Fun of the people that I deal with. I, I and you think that that's gonna get up under my skin this time? Yeah. Right? Oh, you think it's gonna get up under my skin? No, but I'm saying what I do, though. But why are you like making fun and trying to go after people that I love? I mean, you know, I love C Dub, right? Okay. Okay, so why go after them? 
Well, she does say hella shit. Okay. Uh, Miss Barry. And For so real. No you, bullshit. No bullshit. But you ain't seen all the videos you made about him? What videos? Miss Barry? And you had the nerve. Seriously, man. What, what, what videos though? I'm trying to figure out what video. Little things you mocking him with. Why are you doing that? <sighs> you keep this between me and you. Yeah. Okay. Ain't no mocking. What is it? it? It's a lesson. What lesson? I'm trying, to, I'm trying to teach a lesson. Can I? Can I teach? So you ain't used yeah. to know. Male figure teaching lessons. And you ain't you used to that. Is, you ain't used to no, that. No, answer, no, answer mine. I'll answer yours. You ain't right? used, but you ain't used to a female being as strong as I am. No, no I'm used to it. No, you ain't. I can tell you ain't. Well, you don't know me then. Oh, so you like a strong female. Strong female is the reason why man exists. But why did you marry all weak females then? How you know they weak? Nigga, all these m &Ms, come on, you know they weak. They can be chewed up like sardines and caviar, whatever. How you know that? How I you know that? I see your stroke, bro. I see your stroke. You ain't really had no good track record. For real though? No, 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 seriously? How you know that though? I'm looking. I'm looking for myself. You, if they were all that great, you would have still been with them, right? So, what that mean? Um, I guess you should stop finding people with M's in their name and find another letter. <laughs> you have to tell me you already squashed this situation. Why y'all give me Liz Jackson so much hell? Because Miss Liz Jackson don't got nothing to do. She see, she a flunky. I got a uh, uh, what? She's a flunky. Why? Because she worked for you. And you can't help, you can't help but to come over here, right? You just got to come over here. You just got to come over here and make your presence. Why do you feel that you have to do that? Do you need attention? You for you? For your ass? For your goddamn ratchet ass? And, and I love it. Hey, hey, hey. Is it love? Is it is it love? But why really? Because I can destroy your motherfucking ass. You can yes. destroy my motherfucking ass, Steve. Well, how can you destroy? In love, though, baby. Well, how you love a motherfucker? You talking about destroy? No, it, it is something you got to do it. See, when you are king, yes. Excuse me. Excuse me. You want me? You want to prove that you a king? I said when you were a king. I ain't say nothing about what. You... Oh, when you a king. So where's? I said I, I, okay. No, so, go ahead though. Go ahead. You know something, king? No, go ahead. I'm glad you don't, because I say don't a motherfucking king do no shit like what you doing. Go ahead. What you been sipping today? If you don't hear something, you feel. Go like, ahead, man. Go ahead and do what. What did I just say? Go ahead and do what? What did I just say? I don't know what you said. You slurred a little bit. What did you say? Okay, so when you were a king, with, with damn, I'm listening. When you king, what? I'm, I'm waiting. See, only not address that because ain't no king. I mean, a king would already be able to address that. I mean, like what? Let me take him back down. I guess he gone. Thank you, see that for not. Um, what you gonna do? Do about what? What you gonna do? I, I say. What you gonna do, Miss Bay? Do about what? What you on here? What you want from C Harvey? I don't want nothing from Steve Harvey. Why not? Why should I? Why not? What do Steve got to give me that I don't already have? What you got there, got there? What you got there, got to give Steve Harvey? 
I that he ain't got already got. Evidently something because you already told me on my No, show. no, uh, 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 uh. Yeah, you need to quit playing with yourself now. You already know what time it is. What uh huh. But the thing about it though, you keep saying what the fuck you want to say, but the fuck line is is why you keep talking. You oh, you just want me to be quiet? Stop talking. Why you keep talking? Be quiet. You're over here stalking. You're a stalker. Steve. You're a goddamn stalker. You're a motherfucking stalker. Why you keep stalking? See, Harvey. And see, the bear. Barry. Why you keep stalking Mr. Steve Harvey? No motherfucking bullshit. Harla, we got Harla. Hell yeah! Uh, then. I guess he threw with his little rant. I threw with your little tantrum. Very predictable, you guys. He's very predictable, ain't he? I don't know why I'm CW clicked off, I think. Um, everybody wanna know what you want over here. Steve, what you want? Say what I want for Steve. All right, what can Steve do? What can he hey don't he like hey y'all see the picture where it's me and Mary on one side and he in the middle drunk and crying? That's what he look like right now, don't it? He look just like that picture. The only thing is, he ain't crying. See, that was good, didn't it? Wasn't that good? Very predictable. 100%. He said, what do you want from Steve Harvey? What do you want from Steve Harvey? I don't want a motherfucking thing for Steve Harvey. I want to tell him these judges, and I want to tell him everybody else. Say Margie must have told him he ain't never come. She ain't never coming back. Yeah, he is. Y'all, y'all pray for him because he drunk. He on some other stuff. He on some other stuff. He on some other stuff. And I know he was gonna try to trigger C Dub. I'm not gonna let him do that because he's been picking for a moment, trying to get at him and take his stuff down. He said, "Don't call him out his name." And I was trying not to call him nigga. But then you still acting like one. You know what I'm saying? These that was ratchet. Thank you, Cedar. Are you welcome? He was real impaired, wasn't he? Was it? <laughs> I, I happen to actually never see seen seen or heard him in that way. That drunk. He was drunk. I know it's Halloween today, but damn, bro. It's Halloween today? Yeah, it's Halloween, ain't it? He probably dressed like a pimp today. That's what I was saying. I said, I wonder why you ain't somewhere trick or treat. This is his season, ain't it? It's a trick, <laughs> but he ain't the treat. I know that's right. He the tr <laughs> this ain't the trick channel. <laughs> See now, you know what I'm that's Barry. What or you want from? What you want from Steve? Oh, no. Yeah, I'm like. Then he got to talking about uh, your motherfucking ass. That's this man is. You stalking. No, you are stalking, bro. You over here. You over here. We is not over there. And every and, and, and as you know, he says some stuff of season two. I've seen phone call. And just that piece. Just that piece. You know, you know, I'm glad, like you say, I'm just sit back and observe. I'm gonna sit back and listen. Um and do what I do best. So um, yeah, we we I can tell you why he like that. Cause now. I'd have put them white judges' faces up here and I've been exposed each white judge. Right. And I can tell you what else is gonna happen. So now it went out of Steve Hand because it ain't just up to Andrew Tucker and Steve Harvey. If y'all go on my community page, you will see a document with 11 judges. And on those 11 judges, it was connected to that restraining order and that fake warrant that they're trying to put on me. So I wonder what's going to happen if I call one of those judges and tell them I'm going to put them up on investigation. I ain't never been in a courtroom and they trying to arrest me. These white folks are not going to try to be in no black folks mess. Nope. That for sure. 
nope. Somebody came and took that phone for him. Like, nigga, if you don't get off this mic with your drunk So, actually, why you think uh, Spook came on without his logo? Because of the simple fact that it shows that it's who it is. But at the bottom, before y'all come, I noticed that. After Cheryl Strawberry did what she did that day, right? And they had Strawberry. I noticed though none of our names come up on our, our thing no more. Nobody's name come up on that square. It's just that. So if you take his logo out, you can't keep saying Spook Steve, but your voice ain't going to change. He said, right. hey, you don't want that logo in there? Because now they know that logo is connected to Steve. Right. There you go. Good thinking, Essie. Yeah, oh, you I'm on it. You on it. Yeah, I'm, I, you know what? That's why you genius. Because um, now, you know, I was thinking, I'm like, okay, now it makes sense what you're saying that. Because he don't know which way to come. So it's better that he comes with that. Because um, if y'all seen on my last live, I threw up a logo, a logo that was kind of similar to his to put everybody in the mind to spook. Uh, so now he has to go back and regroup. Oh, he went out for a minute. Here he come back. Yeah, he has to go back and regroup. Let's see. Let's let's check this out, y'all. I'm going to be quiet. What? <laughs> Just a thing. Okay, so listen. When they splag c the page, he probably ain't paid attention, but I'm going to show him. When he splagged your page, right? Right. He probably did it. Now, watch this genius stuff, y'all, because I'm an activist. I pay attention to everything. So when he first flagged my page, if you go back on my community page, you will see where he got my page strike three times, Spook TV Media. Why? So now he changed his name to Tim Walton because he know I got that paper over there showing that he had did that to my channel. So after he did my channel and I knew it was him, I told y'all he was on all the court documents. So he done said his name is Tim Walton. He can't show his ID that it was Tim Walton. He can't show us one that is Steve Harvey. So if CW yeah. where they strike this channel down, it's gonna show Tim Walton because that's what he said his name was. Well, you yep. know, Facebook, Instagram, you can get them G.I. Joe, G.I. Jane, every name sound the same. You get what I'm saying? Yep. So basically, he was trying to allude to the fact that he wasn't Steve by putting Tim name up there, but Spook TV Media is the one who flagged my whole channel. That makes sense. That makes sense. And again, everybody, we know why he did it because at the end of the the reason why he did this is because we was we was actually putting out so much information about him. And it was just it was just he got viral. mad viral. Was viral. He, but he got mad because C was over there and he was cracking and C dub ain't never came like that before. He smacked crack one pop that nigga and he got mad. And then he was upset that C dub was taken up for me. You know, yep. just to tell you guys, that's what I feel like it was because he don't want no man take it up for me. You has heard him ask me what I want. He meant that because he know them judges up there now and he don't know what the fuck I'm going to do with them judges. Exactly. No, you should have known. And again, y'all, there's some more stuff y'all ain't even seen yet. You know, um, we got that in our pocket. So uh, we, oh, we really we really coming right now. Check it we out. Though. We Ryan got walk and sit down talking. We coming. We got enough footage to put some up every up to, to the end of the year and to next year too. I yep. got all my footage. So and then the thing about it too, Essie, um if I know people know, but when you look at the all the stuff that we did, it was it was it was over you know, he say he got friends, he got Liz who just pops on. You he got uh truth that pops on every now and then supporting him. Um but you know it's not real love. All these people are connected because of money. Um, most of the time they're not paying attention, like you said, they ain't paying attention to what they do, what they're saying. But every time, if anybody know what you would type in, uh, Spook Media TV, we had over flooded him with truth. You couldn't even see him anymore, so that's why he had to flag. So I'm gonna go ahead and flag C Dub, keep it one less. And just like you spoke up just now, you said, um, "Do you want it just me and you?" He said, "Yeah, of course he does." Psych. Psych. That's what yeah, Psych. but this ain't the me and you channel. Yeah, this ain't the me and you channel. Okay, so, so someone um, asked me, did I think that he was um sorry? Hell yeah, I think he's sorry. I think he's sorry as hell. I think there he's you go. never met me. I think he's so nervous right now because you can't put a person like me. See, I got street sense and I got book sense. Those two things that they're together are dangerous. They're dangerous. You know. Yeah. 
Well, I guess he fought. Hey, you know how you get drunk and you just fall asleep right on the spot? That's probably where I'm to him. Then he's like, he's so drunk, he's just going to fall over. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I was calling you Barry tonight. Barry, Barry. Okay. Hey, that's so cute. That's the name of my letter. I think I'm going to do them on Tuesday mornings. Read a letter Tuesday morning, and I'm going to let a man read it. So I'm going to let the man, when I get a letter, I'm going to let the man read it, but I'm going to answer the letter. So that's how I'm going to do the buried letters. I already got the little thing printed out. I just ain't put it out on the site yet. Also, at 8 o'clock in the morning, every morning, we'll be releasing something just to let you know how this has transpired. I don't care if it's old or new. The thing of it is, these things have transpired, and this will help you know how to do things, too, whether a stalker. Because, see, I ain't got to lay him up on my page. But to know that he make his presence known every day, you know what I'm saying? That tells y'all a lot. They having a field day with this right here. It's called the Essie Berry Notes, N-O-T-E-S, because I don't want my shit to be with Shirley because I'm going to be popping off the hook in a minute. I'm working on that, too. I got to get an email and a phone number for that site so that way I can just answer the letters and then tell y'all what I think. And if not, I may read the letter or I'll put the letter at the bottom of the video and then I'll answer the question and like release them maybe every Tuesday or five, which they have morning that I want to release that. Yeah, I think that'll be great. That'll be good. Tomorrow, we're going to do woman to woman. And I hopefully, if the young lady went out of town, but I got the letter, it's on my site. But I wanted the girl who read the letter, I mean, who wrote the letter with me, I want her to read it. I'm not going to show her face because I want to make sure I could protect her privacy because right. she don't really care. They'll go after people because he knows I'm sensitive about family. But what he has don't know now is he done made me like a POA in this. I'm a bet in this shit now. You can go after anybody you want to. I'm fucking dealing with straight soldiers and riders. I'm not dealing with no cowards or nothing like that. I'm dealing with OGs shit. I'm dealing with people with street. Like like John. Y'all, I did talk to John last night too. What'd he say? What'd he say? He's doing good. You know, some of the ladies want to ask John questions, the OG. So I'm going to bring him on the platform and just let them ask the questions. And I noticed every time we weren't on, um, he would always ask about John. So let's see if he's going to put it on there. John said he done chill back, sat back, relaxed. He going to come a whole new flex on people. You know what I'm saying? Just let people know what time it is. Because he said he'd come either way. But no more disrespect to the queen. That's what he was stopping. That's what he was trying to say. You know, and last time I was bees, this, that. Now he say, Miss Barry, Essie, I love you. You know, and John going to break some stuff down to y'all too that he broke down to me. You know what I'm saying? Because he said, an older man ain't going to just do this. He has some type of fascination with me. John was breaking that shit down so hard. I was like, damn, John, you think so? He said he knows so. Because who's going to go through this much trouble? And you got to realize when I'm saying certain things, if I say Judge Tucker, no one in this box knows a Judge Tucker, but Steve Harvey does. No one in this box really knows Ricky Anderson, but Steve Harvey does. So certain people have certain situations to connect with. Right, right, right. Yeah, I guess I do Whitney Friday. I got to see because I got Miss Jackie too. I want to put a day on for Miss Jackie so we can have. Um, justice for Miss Carlita Foley, which is her daughter, um, Carlita. Um, um, I also think, I also think, like uh, Valerie said, and Westside was saying, um, when he does get on the platform, when he does want to pop too, it's a distraction. It's to keep, you know, that's why you don't have nothing to say. What he, you, you love, you love me. He does have it to say because this is a. You case. love me. Yeah. But this is the case. So he's making it so he's telling us who he is. All y'all got to do is listen, just pay attention. That's why I put him up here. He put that one on me. He got those judges do that. He going to get them damn judges to take that shit off me now. I bet you that. He asked me what he want. He finna find out what I want. And that still ain't going to make a difference because I'm still going to talk about it because now it's a trigger point. Because I just ain't never seen no black man try to set somebody like me up. I'm a lover. All this bubbling brown sugar and you trying to set me up. Where they do that at? Yeah, right. And the Where thing about he at? must know, he must know we got that best kept secret finna get ready to pop off too, I think. Ooh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we don't know nothing about that. Y'all, we gonna hit y'all with the best kept secret in a minute, but we ain't even give it up to you right now. When we say we gonna ride this way, we're gonna ride it slow, we're gonna ride it right, we're gonna do everything accordingly. 
telling you. That's what it is. We, we ain't even put it out yet, Essie. That's the bad thing about it, huh? It's a lot, but you know what? Ooh. If you want to put it out, it's time now. And I was just being nice. No, oh, I, know you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. Oh, you sure? Are you I'm sure? What? Are you sure? I'm sure what? You want to put that out right now. I, I really don't want to put that out right now. I want to put, let me put everything else out. Let me use that for the final right. finale whammy. Because like he going to be like, Essie, why you put that out on me? Essie, why you do that to me? Essie, you saying that you was going to be a little bread. And that's how we should keep it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he know what you're talking about. I believe it. You know, he know. I'm sorry, y'all. We got to keep that classified, but it, it is the grand finale. And uh, another thing, I was thinking about Essie. What y'all think? Um, y'all leave it down in the comment box. I was gonna go on tonight, but this is kind of juicy. I'm just relaxed now. Um, I got a fire thumbnail that I'm working on right now. It's almost done, Essie. I can go on tonight. But I can also go on tomorrow. It don't matter because I'm downloading. I'm getting the page back ready. Um, we lined up. We riding and walking, sitting down, talking. It don't matter. It's um, If y'all want me to go on live tonight, I can. I have the timeline set up. But, you know, I'm, I'm just following suit. I'm in, a good, I'm in a good place right now. I just feel like, you know, um, we're good. I'm relaxed. And, and I don't want anybody to think that took any effect on me. Oh, and I want to... I would have made y'all laugh tonight because the man made a baby dog, a baby of me um, in a baby chair, crying, talking about my page. I go to Spook TV meeting. You see it over there. You it was, that it was, a form of intimidation, though, just making him feel some kind of way. Right. And all that money he got, he didn't even get one like on it. All that money and all that, all that money he put into making that. But you know what he got? He got your attention. Well, he got your attention to speak on it, and he know you saw it. He could have all my attention, get nobody else's attention. But I'm just saying, but he got your attention by speaking on it and knowing it's over there. You know what I'm saying? Because I saw it last night too. Like I mean, being real is kind of damn cute that you're gonna take your time, your money, your face, and just do that. They got seed up talking with his voice to it. When you see people doing stuff like they doing with seed up his face and stuff. I have to say, it's it's like you got to put money behind it. That's not something you can just do. They got me in a courtroom, y'all, raising my hand. But and that, they got, that's got my eye on me. not about making money. He, it, what you're doing now, that's what he wanted us to do. Because he knew right. that we saw it or get, get, get pay attention to it. Like, I don't know. Like, you think somebody's going to get mad about it. They're kind of cute. You may be glad I don't know how to do no shit like that. Y'all will have dogs, bats, cats running after y'all. I think God gave you the gift to just the mouthpiece. You got the gift to gab. So you don't even need nothing like that. So imagine yeah. if you have it. It'll be a world of havoc. Do you hear me? Yeah, I wish I did know, though. I just wish I I, I can find it. I can find it. You know I do the editing graphic, but I can find it. I'm going to be honest. I'd be scared to do something like that. I, know I, do. Yeah. I, can, I can get it done. Yeah, I think I would be dangerous. dangerous. Well, don't make me go look into it for real. I found you. Voice alternators. Do y'all want me to go look into that? But I'm I was no oh, voice I, alternators, y'all, so y'all can see what I sound like. Uh, well, okay, I'll go get it. Don't say no. say, say it again. Say, say it again. I'll go find it. I'm just saying, I'm going to get me one of the voice alternators. So listen, you guys, he probably fell asleep drunk in a chair. He ain't coming back tonight. He just wanted to know what I want. He probably hit me up on one of the channels, whatever it may be. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah right. You're right. You're right. Steve, I uh, feel good today because I didn't say he was on that dope. But, you know, allegedly. He's, I asked him what he was drinking. He ain't saying that. See, right. that they got your page again. Say it slowly so they can get your page. And will somebody put it down in a box so they'll know how to find seat up? So, you guys, if y'all don't, it's a very serious way. I think, let me tell ladies why I think seat up show is good. Seat up show is good because he shows you. Like someone could be calling you and you think it's one person, it's the other person. And <laughs> voice things and the things that he showed you that we I wouldn't even ever aware of, you could learn from that. And if you learn from that, then that's other ways that you can fight this. Because on this station too, it's about learning, understanding, but then find something different. There it is. Check it out. Right, Cross. Let me put it up so y'all can see it. Right. right. If, I'm, if I may add to that, everybody, um, I love Essie Berry, and me and Essie Berry, we talk all the time. We talk maybe 
two, three times a day. I call him. You know, he called to check it on me, y'all. I Not only is he like a mother to me, not because you know why I don't call you. Like I call you, don't even put, don't cap. Well, I, now I'm gonna be honest. The only reason I don't call her because most of the time I'm ahead of time, and when I be thinking about calling her, and it be like twelve. Like I really would call her at ten or like nine, but if I call her at nine, she's two hours behind. So time goes by because she's usually two hours behind if I'm not in California. You see what I'm saying? So that's the only reason. I, and if it's like twelve, and I look at the clock, be like, I need to call Essie. And if I look at twelve, I'll be like, well, it's ten there. She probably still sleep. So I don't bother you. I let you get your beauty sleep. Oh, so then cute. when you call me, it'd be like what? Would it be about twelve? So it'd be about two my time. So then, so I would have been called you earlier, but you always know that you two hours behind unless I'm on the West Coast. Got it. So, Thank um, you for that. Thank, yeah. you. Thank you for not waking me up. I try to respect you know. your I'm saying, because I'm an early bird. I get up at four in the morning. Every day, y'all, I'm up at four. So I have to set my clock sometimes to like three in the morning. So I'm, 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 I'm wheels turning with me. But I want to say, again, uh, it's very, um, we, what, what we're doing is, Everybody, we learn the logic. And let me tell you how smart I got. And I appreciate you, Essie, when you say, okay, Dub, be quiet. I already knew. But I'll be talking again. Like, you know, but I'll I just let you, yeah. I, I was quiet. Um, because, like you say, there is, I see what, what I'm supposed to do. Basically, I do. But I'm going to let him do his thing because when, when we, I, I'm supposed to sit back and observe and come on my channel and do what I do best. And he'll be there because I'm there. He'll come over there because I'm right. there. But right. we, I, I want people to remember, though, at the end of the day, he can make 20,000 videos. And they really ain't bad videos. It was just he mimicking because he's using your words. But to know that you take that much attention out to go out the seat up, which they cute little videos. The little boy is cute. But you took that much time out your day to make those videos, to put the voice with it, to aggravate Essie Berry. So you feel like Essie Berry would do what? Okay. Like, no, I'm here. I'm here. What I wanted to say was this, when you, when he makes those expensive shorts, like you said, they, 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 they're adorable. They cool. It make you want to, you know, it makes you want to grab them and play them again, but you have to be strategic. I think he puts those out for me to want to put it on my site or bring it up so he can go back. Exactly. And get it. I just told you that. You see what I'm saying? So yeah, of course, that's why he's dropping them. He wants me to bite on that, talk about it. But, dude, you ain't saying nothing enough to what you already got yourself into. So it ain't even no need for me to go ahead and take those those, um, those shorts. Even I, I can bring his shorts up. Yeah, I know I can. But you, you just been so low down with the things that you're doing. Okay. And I know what you did because we got power ain't even on the level that we own. So I was just like, I leave it alone. You may have, you may have money, status, and all that. Um, I'm going to put that comment up or see they'll come back. It says he loves being a distraction and wants your subscribers to fall off. Y'all can fall off if you fucking want to fall off. That's not going to stop this nigga from doing what he's doing. Who else would it be if it ain't Steve doing it? I had already told you guys that. Right. No, If you're going to ride, then ride. If you fall off, then fall off and go over the corner. If you want to, over the hill or, and everywhere, over the other mountain. That has nothing to do with me. If you tuning in to something, right. you want to see something real, then this shit that's happening now, it's definitely real. I right. thank my paralegal when she said I remind her her auntie back in the day. Girl, I'm the auntie, the grandmama, the great grandmama. I'm the sentence to behind all those people back in the day. So I'm going to be doing what I do because this is me. I don't want to change me to please people because if I change me to please people, I won't be in this beast mode that I'm in. I like to stay in beast mode. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Also said on there, Essie Bear, she said, but baby, we riding till the wheels fall off. Essie Bear subscribers ain't going nowhere. All right. right exactly. Exactly. We right, right here. We right here. Uh, Valerie says, thank you everyone for supporting Essie and all that stand and all uh, that she stands for. Uh, appreciate you guys. I know that she does also 100. May the Lord continue to bless each and every one of you in your families. Thank you very much, Valerie. Valerie, we've been with it since day one, man. Up, uh, we love you, Valerie. Um, that lets you know that we're doing something right. And um, SES, again, it's an honor. Um, we just going to keep it real. Um, everybody, I don't want to hold you. It's Halloween. Um, SES, what you want to do? I can go on tonight if y'all want me to. 
But I know a lot of y'all can't hold y'all uh, your eyelids. Now I do it for the people, but I can fire y'all up tomorrow. I got a fire time. I got a fire ass. Yeah. Wait till you see this this thumbnail. I want you to get your thumbnail stuff ready. See, one thing is, see the last a funky thumbnail getting made, and it's gonna be proper, right? So when a man think he done took something for you, you just show him that I can get something greater. That's Are what I'm about. It. He's really launching. That until now, you didn't mention that until now. Huh? That thumbnail that you made me. Oh, you didn't mention that until now. Okay, go ahead and finish what you were saying. What? What you saying? You didn't tell him that you. Oh, let me tell y'all the answer. Yeah. No, I ain't tell him. All right. Well, let me say this. Essie Berry is such a sweet person. I didn't even ask for it. She called me and she said, and spent her money now. I could have spent my money and said, Dub, I like that little thing that, that, that Steve Harvey did for you, but forget that I made this for you. What you want? She didn't went and got my glasses, my avatar, called me three or four times to make sure it was right. Y'all see what I'm saying? Essie is a great person, man. Essie, I, I respect you for that. Thank you so much. But she went and made a special avatar for me because she, I ain't going to say thought, because she really re liked the, the logo that I had that Steve Harvey was making about me. And she thought I felt some type of way about it. He did, y'all. He and felt the guy. He was sad about that little boy. Yeah, he got yeah, to love that little boy. He yeah, loved yeah. that little boy. But she actually, y'all, she yeah. finessed it and went even better for me. So that just show y'all love, man, and um, that what kind of heart she has, and I'm I'm just I'm just I, I was I was flabbergasted to, to you know see it today. We gonna wait to put it out, but again, thank you, Essie Berry. Um, you're a great person. We oh, right yeah. here on air, we riding, talking, sitting down, walking. It don't matter. Yeah, and and some people say they want you to come on night. A person they say, let me she say, paralegal say, she said I remind her auntie. What you say, paralegal? A person from the street are the ones that more they more loving, they more honest, and we got your back for sure. We ain't no fake people for sure. You know, I love you guys for joining. So listen, tomorrow's gonna be the woman to woman. I'm gonna have the girl come over and read the letter. If not, I'll figure out how to put it on the screen, I'll have somebody read it behind closed doors. If she don't show up, I'll still have somebody to read it. I don't want to read it because I want y'all to listen while I'm listening. Because even though she wrote it, I was in a dark place at that time in 2013 when she wrote it. Then Thursday, I'm going to be talking about um Tasha K, how I met Tasha K, and how I am the one who paved the way for Tasha K. Friday, I guess we're going to do the Whitney Houston thing, maybe, because I got two people that knows about Whitney Houston, and somebody hit me up, said that they know a lot of stuff. I don't want to say what they said yet. I'm going to wait for her, and then I'm going to see what she want to schedule and what she going to do it. I also want to bring Miss Jackie Foley back in. You guys have seen Miss Jackie Foley, first interview that I did with her. It was very touching and emotional, but now it's going to be a, on a bigger level to the point that I can allow you guys to learn who Miss Jackie is because she lost her daughter. And I'm a, I ain't going to lie, for to be a mother, and even though your kid grown, that's a hurtful feeling. And it looks strange when your child leaves you before you leave the child. So, you know, I want to bring her back on so we can share that love and understand Miss Jackie and send her love and let her give you the update on what she just sent me today about her daughter, about the case, which is a disgrace. So I'm going to bring her as well. I just got to get the days settled to do that. And also, don't forget about the 8 o'clock in the morning. So every morning, I'm releasing something on 8 o'clock in the morning. I think c Dub's going to give me a vibe. So every Tuesday, he'll be releasing something on my page as well. And Saturday will be part two. Because I think I'm going to have to do a part three with Mary and me. But then I'll just do the part three and still be releasing videos at 8 o'clock in the morning. Please pay attention to the videos if you have not seen them. I know I got a lot of videos out there. I probably got what y'all would call like five seasons, and I'm continuing to go on. Much love to everyone who reaches out to me that shares their story with me because it is overwhelming to know that there's so many black women in the world that's going through what they're going through, and I can't help you all. Sometimes we all get agitated. Our spirits are not quite right. But if I say something to affect you or disrespect you, I really want to apologize for that. But I don't apologize for being who I am. And I don't apologize who God has created me to be. So now I just got to do what is best for me and what's going to be best to save this whole situation and change it. Again, I, I'm right cross. Put up there one more time. 
we put C Dub's um, shadow up there. I want you guys to at least subscribe to him, like him, share it with a friend because the technology that C Dub is showing and what he's doing, it will help y'all women. Because some things he's done, it has helped me so many ways, like the voice monitor, the analyzers, showing how the volume going stuff. He had a lot of that. You know what I'm saying? So now he's getting ready to go to a bigger platform to the point that he can show more. And it's going to be to just not help me. It's going to help you too. But at the same time, it's going to show you how to win a case. So I have to tell people about that because it's like we, we, we're we on a race now. We got to be able to change some things. If your one voice can make a difference, one voice can make a change. If you don't stand for something, you will fall for anything. We're not going to do that. We're going to stand for what's right. I'm going to bring C-Dub back up and let, her take, let him take us out. Here we go. And this is C-Dub's um, channel that y'all see. And again, you guys, I want you guys to join this fight with me. And whatever we join together, we got queens on this platform standing. I want us to stand together as one, no matter what it is, as we stand for Miss Lily, as we stand for Ramir, as we stand for Jay-Z. It ain't no bad thing. Jay-Z just do the right thing as a man. Your father didn't do the right thing as a man. But as a man, you could change that cycle. You could change that whole situation. You could change all this around that you could show, yeah, this is my son. I can see y'all taking pictures together, giving things. That man don't want your money. He just wants to know his bloodline like any other person want to know their bloodline. You, me, or anybody else. We can make a difference. We can make a change. But we still got to stay focused and we got to stay real to who we are, not to who someone wants us to be. See, dub I'm going to let you take us on out. Get ready to get up out of here. Y'all, I'm grateful. But I was going to say, um, S.C. Berry, thank you for um, continuing. I just dropped down. Every time my phone ring, y'all, it'll knock me offline. So that's why I just jumped off. But again, y'all, um, I got a lot in store. Essie got a lot in store. Um, what you think, Essie? You think I should go on because I didn't get that last part because my phone rang and it knocked me off the internet. So if you want, it's, it's, so, it's, so, it's totally up to you. If you want to rang on or you want to put some out, whatever you decide you want to do. Well, you know, I'm going on. We'll check it out, y'all. In the next hour, I'll go on. I'm going to get some jams going. We're going to rock shows tonight. Then I'm going to keep on going. I'm going to keep on. I ain't going to let the wheel stop turning. So I want everybody to do a watch with me tonight. I'm doing a watch. And we're going to go from there. Um, the thumbnail is going to take me about another 15 minutes to finish. It's going to be a rush job. Don't rush it. Don't make it rush. We well, then I need to go night. on tomorrow then. Well, I need to go no, on tomorrow. I got, I got enough stuff for Steve. Well, let me go on tomorrow. Well, then go on tomorrow then. Don't be rushing now. This ain't no rush job over here. This ain't no okay. rush channel over here. Well, okay, I was waiting on you to say that. This ain't the rush channel. Okay, say that then. Okay, everybody, <laughs> check it out. Here. Check it out. I got everything on the timeline now. But the last thing I was working on was this thumbnail. And the thumbnail is hilarious since, you know, um, Steve been coming at me. So, you know, I didn't try to come at him right. I'm coming with true facts. It's a good, I'm telling y'all, I got some fire. I got some fire. We're going to sit down. We're going to do a watch. We're going to put this together. And it's not just something that I put together or some, some stuff that I put together. No, this is a watch. Shots out to Right Cross for making this possible. If it wasn't for if Triple OG, everybody give a thumbs up to Right Cross because Right Cross gives me a lot of intels and it likes me on some things. So it's not just me just being the genius that I am. But you know what I mean? I don't do this by myself. It's Essie Berry. It's, it's, it's what God brings together to work together. So we work it and we work it together. So y'all ain't going to hold y'all. Um, it was a wonderful live tonight. I would go on tonight, um, but I want that thumbnail done. I don't want to rush it, like Essie said. So, um, and if I was anxious, I would have came on tonight. Um, I'm not that anxious. I'm not. It ain't about clout. It ain't about numbers. It's about doing it right. Right. We're gonna do it right, y'all. That's what it's about. Doing it right. Staying in the bonds of moderation. That's what we want to do. So and I'm not in a rush. Enjoying ourselves, you guys. Right. Lives. And I like what C-Dub just said, too, about Right Cross, right? Right Cross, we're looking for the dirt to send to C-Dub. It's all like a team now. I right. got named Marilyn. So my chick named Marilyn, she strolled the streets of YouTube, her and another chick I got. So if anything hit the YouTube streets, high hit the YouTube streets, which way hit the YouTube streets, baby? My patrol is on the board for that, for sure. Oh, can I add something to everybody? Um, Please leave a comment. In the comment section, I will read them. If me and Essie Berry have our own show, okay, we, 
we have sat back and said, what will we name this show? Tell us what y'all will name us. We want, there you go. We want y'all to name the show that you think me and Essie Berry should have. And we're going to write all the names and we'll and take we'll everything in consideration and then we'll come back um, and then go from there. See what y'all say it should be. And maybe we'll put the names together. And maybe you got a good name now. And it's going to be good seat up. We ain't made up what time we're going to come on yet. We and I ain't going to trip. And I ain't going to hold. Whoever name that we pick, we're going to donate $100. Damn, a hundred, what a hundred dollars. If we pick your name, I'm giving you a hundred dollars. I'm going to cash up you a hundred dollars. If we pick your name, I'm going to cash up you a hundred dollars. No cap. Uh, it better be good. Hey, now y'all got to look at. Yeah, but I got a hundred dollars for the best name right now. We're going to think about the names though before we tell the person. Now, listen. We're going to do this almost like two weeks before Thanksgiving because by Thanksgiving, we're going to have the channel up and running with our logo and everything. So, see, see them, give, them a, give them a deadline now. Give them a deadline. We're going to give them about a week or two. Let people think. You said you know, two weeks before Thanksgiving. So, it's we already going into November. So, like, shit, you, they only got like two weeks. Less than, yeah. They got less than two weeks. Yeah, podcast like we doing now. But well, you don't want to let everybody eat their turkey first, let their food settle, and then we just come like towards December because everybody, as he's still going to have her page, I'm going to still have my, we go back and forth. But we just want a page where we specifically go in together that we'll name an organic name that's separate from everybody else on the internet when we go on together. Because Essie, she does her thing. I do my thing. But we need a page together, y'all, that where we come on and we just really come in and rock shows. And we want to rock shows on that page and we want to let that page grow to see what people really, the reaction we get from people when they see us come together. Because not are we, we're only not only getting better, we're getting smarter with it. And I just, you know, we learn, I know when to come in and shut up, be quiet, <laughs> start talking again. And, you know, it's all that, all that good stuff. But again, y'all, um, I know you wanted me to end it, Essie. I want you to end it, but I do want to say tomorrow around. Let's do it a little bit earlier. To I got to go tomorrow. What time are you going on, Essie? I'm going on, read the letter. I'm coming off probably. Hey, hey look what I'm, she said. Homegirl said she need $100 for some diapers. I know that's right, baby. You better get us a good name then, for sure. For sweet. diapers? She said, yeah, diapers. She said, okay, I need okay. Diapers. okay wrong with that baby babies need love too now yeah she said well she can use that hundred dollars for show sure. well you um, need to be thinking real hard babe i may oh. try to go a little earlier i try to go like after four because i know everybody pretty much around the world be off um work so to get off work and stuff like that so and really i'm i just want people to read the letter she going to read the letter. And if I don't get her tomorrow, I'll probably get Fred to read it. I talk a little bit about the letter. It got to do with me and Steve Harvey. And this okay. is that I wrote him January the 4th, 20, 20, 2014. I had a letter from January the 4th, 2014. If not, I'll let Steve come over here. I don't know. I just want to make sure that she'll be able to read the letter. I need y'all to closely listen to it. And then Thursday is Tasha K. Wednesday, may, I mean, Friday, maybe Whitney Houston. Or maybe something else. And then part two, uh, Mary and Essie will be Saturday. And then the OG's coming back on Sunday. So can I see, Dub? I can say I'm out right now. Well, damn, y'all. Well, damn. Well, I'm going to say this. Okay. Also, I'm going to hit your line when we get off the phone because I found another one that is off the meat rack. Okay. But I don't want to even speak on it yet. Are we just going to drop it? We're going to drop it like it's hot. Right. Okay, so I'm gonna just keep that for everybody. So we got some stuff coming. Um, and again, let me let me say this: we also have um, we changing that dope hole. Yes. It's very um, when the when we <laughs> download these new videos that we're gonna upload, they're the same videos that um, Stoop Media TV thought that he got us, but he didn't have us because we still had those on file. So we're going to re-put them up again. We're going to have different titles because, you know, they want to do anything to try to hurt us or use against us. So all those dope holes names will be obscene phone calls, which is the name of the movie. Next week, y'all, I'm getting ready to turn up. I'm focusing all on the movie because one thing that motivated me, I heard when Troop said, oh, you guys had so-and-so going to write a book and saw this and did that and nothing happened. 
Well, guess what, buddy? Sorry about that. We're going to finish this movie and we're going to get it done for real. I'm going to show you how to get this movie done. So, y'all, I'm going filming all next week on this movie. Essie Berry already got her cameras on deck. We already finna turn up and make this movie come out. I've seen phone calls. Uh, season two, is that what we're working on now? So everything that you see me doing right now, after um, with, when I deal with Essie and we get back on the platforms, we're going to chop it up. It's op scene season two because I can't do it without Essie. When Essie comes on here and Spook comes on here, I'm sitting back watching, chopping it up, and those are our op scene phone calls. So I'm not just creating the op scene phone calls. Essie Berry's creating the obscene phone calls. So um, this is season two of obscene phone calls and all those dope holes. I'm going to take them. I'm going to chop those dope holes up. They will be on Essie Berry page, but the way I'm going to put it on my page, y'all, is going to be everything, like I said before, when he, before he deleted my channel, it's going to be everything that incriminated. Without his logo. Without his logo. Without his logo, we, we got a new Stoop Media. So when you see Stoop Media TV, that is Spook Media TV. So everything, all I have on all the dope holes, and then we went all the way up to dope hole six. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to hold y'all and have you watch it all the way through. SEO have those ones that you can watch all the way through. But this new one is going to be like a finale, and it's going to be everything that incriminated Steve for harassment and cyberbullying. With that being said, in that order. So peace and love, everybody. Um, We love you. And remember, we all in it together. Essie, go ahead and close it out. God bless you guys. Take care. Looking forward to seeing you tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Much love to you guys because you always tune in. I'm loving this with the man thing. I can do this all day, y'all. Ain't that messy going on? Um, A lot of times, too, you guys, if you see me let somebody from my platform, whatever I say, it's for a reason. Pay attention to the reason because the reason is going to be a season that all this is being exposed. All you got to do is sit back, watch, and listen and learn because this ain't no face stuff. This is a real reality show going on YouTube. And because of all that has transpired, God got soldiers in our circles and our places for reasons. Make sure that y'all tune in tomorrow at four o'clock with me so I can do this letter. I may go a little early, but you know I kind of be on time. Try to go 15 minutes till. And then as far as C-Dub, and another I'm love that C-Dub seven. is trying to get those videos together because that way sometime when I don't release that in the morning, eight o'clock, I'll find out what day C-Dub will go on. If it's on Tuesdays and Thursdays, then on Tuesday and Thursday, I'll release an obscene phone call with C-Dub. And that way you'll know we're going on that night. We're getting it together because he be on the road a lot. So it's a little bit hectic than what I thought. But I want you guys to be have the opportunity to be selective, to join him on his CAD podcast too and on his journey and with his new station because I think it's going to be more powerful because when you go through something, you live through it and then you make sure you're better for another day. Right, Cross, please drop down his um, YouTube site one more time before we get off. Go ahead, see the oh, I'm good. I I'm blessed. Um, I just want to say you, you ended it well. Um, like she said, um, I'll probably be on um, Eastern time this time. So I'll be on 7 o'clock Eastern. So that'll be six o'clock at right after SC Berry. So two hours after SC Berry, we're gonna turn up. And so, I'm not um, I'm sorry. With that being said, y'all, um, I think I said everything I needed to say. Um, God bless everybody, Valerie Red Side, um, um, just everybody, Miss Miss Nebraska, good to see you back on the platform today. Um, I'm not looking at the chat box, so I can't remember everybody's name off the top. Um uh valerie I, I mean there's so many people um i know you are i can't see you now because i'm in the room but i love y'all and thank y'all for all of y'all support um you guys are wonderful uh oh yeah um oh i want to say this name start with a j oh linda 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 yeah i definitely must love to linda we love you um everybody thank y'all su for supporting the channel y'all are helping us make this grow peace and love to your families god bless make sure you say your prayers and uh happy halloween and we're growing, we're not just growing a channel, we're growing a family together, we're growing voices together, we're growing yes. soldiers together, we growing our own uh, Black Wall Street together. We're going to show up and show out now. Let's show them how to do it on these YouTube streets, you guys. God mm -hmm. bless you guys. Good night. And we'll see you tomorrow at 4. And then after that, 7, we'll be here. Take care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love. Bye-bye, Nancy. Talk to you in a minute. All right.